All right, I'm gonna show you how to clean out a uh, glass grinder. And I, you can see I've got a bunch of them along the sink here. This one's been dried out. You can see inside here is tons of ground up glass debris. So usually what I'll do is I'll scrape that up, okay? And this is just a, a guard in the back here. Just slide this off from underneath. And then I'll take it to the garbage here and just empty that in the garbage. Okay, obviously you don't want water in there. And then this thing here, this is the grate that goes over the top. Make sure these holes aren't clogged. One thing you could do is just kind of tap it on the edge of the thing there. And you can also take something like this brush handle and poke open any of these holes that are clogged, okay? Now, I'm gonna put some water in my grinder and get it ready to go, so let me show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do here is this. Uh, I've got a pitcher of water here, and I'm gonna pour some water in here. I would say, I don't know, this is about an inch, maybe only a half inch, about that much water, okay? Then I'm gonna put the top back on. Notice the top's got uh, four little pegs that go in these four holes. You're gonna put this over the top. You're just gonna tap it there on the four holes so those pegs go in. Then I've got a sponge that looks like this, okay? That sponge fits right in here, and then it, you tap it down in place. It should squish down in place like that. Now, if this is working right, when you squeeze the sponge, if you squeeze it, you'll see a little water come out of that sponge. Okay, if you ever squeeze your sponge, there's no water, it means there's not enough water in here. And if you need to put more water in there, all you do is take your pitcher and you can just pour it right through the grate here and add a little bit more water. Okay, this plastic thing back here, this is a, a splash guard, that's just so you don't splash water on the wall. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So there's your grinder, ready to be ground. Uh, this is an emptying spout if I wanna empty the water. I, don't, I seldom use that. Uh, and then over here is the switch to turn it on. That's how it works. Next, I'll show you how to use it. Okay, this is how you grind glass. You can see this is uh, one of the pieces I have to cut off of my sample. And the three sides here are pretty good, but it's this curved side that's off quite a bit, so I need to grind that glass down. Now, what I did is I put tape underneath here, you can see, and I took an X-Acto knife and cut that tape. That way I, I, that way I know exactly where to grind that, because you're gonna see that if you draw a line there, that line's probably gonna disappear. So on the side, here's the switch, turn it on. Now keep in mind, the glass grinder will not hurt you. I got my finger against here, it's doing nothing. Okay, so don't be worried. But you must wear safety glasses. So put your safety glasses on, and I'm ready to grind. Now I'm just gonna give you an aerial view what I'm gonna do is lay my glass flat on the table like this. And all I'm basically doing is just moving this back and forth and grinding the glass down. Just kind of sweep it along here until you get that ground down. Okay? Don't just push it in one spot, because if you just push it in one spot, what'll happen is You'll have um, you'll have glass that is um, just you'll just have a dent in there. So I'm just grinding this along the edge, leaving it lay flat on here. And so on. Okay? Um, here's one another one that I'm gonna be grinding, and I'm gonna make sure that that is um, I just kind of keep turning it like this and grind it down. This has quite a bit to grind, so it really is your best interest to uh, clip some of that off before so you have less grinding to do. Uh, don't hold it in the air like this, leave it flat on the table. But I noticed my grinder is lifted up kind of high. I'm going to lower this grinder because it's not quite grinding the bottom right now. So that's how we grind stuff. It doesn't hurt, you won't get hurt, but definitely got to wear safety glasses. All right, here's the piece that I'm cutting for my sample. I cut this piece out, taped it on here, and then what I did is I put some tape on here, and I cut that tape. So now what I want to do is I want to grind that right up to that tape right there, okay? So I'm going to put this off so it doesn't get wet, turn my grinder on, okay? And now we'll bring this in nice and close again, like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right up here, and 
sweep it along this. So I don't hold it in one place, I kind of sweep it along here. Okay, now, once again, this has to be wet like this, see that? Okay, now, um, when I get this pretty close, now this is pretty close to what I wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape off. I don't really need that tape anymore. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean it off with some paper towels because it's wet and I don't wanna get my paper all wet. So I'm gonna clean that off, okay? Then I'm gonna take it over to my, uh, this. And I'm going to lay this right over the top of it. And right now it looks like uh, that side's nice. The three sides are nice. This side uh, looks pretty close. Okay. Now, if it is off a little bit, like it's hard to see because this is clear, darker glass, a little easier to see. This should be just inside this. Now, notice this edge here is a little bit, it's a little bit crooked. I could straighten that off. But for what we're doing right now, this is fine. So I'm gonna go right there, and I could see that I need to take just a tad more off right here. Right here, the glass is overlapping that black line a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll take a Sharpie and just put a little mark right here, which tells me to grind just a little bit more off of that. Then I'll turn my grinder back on. Just a little more off of that little area right there. Okay. And that is how you fine tune your glass. So all three of your pieces have to fit perfectly over the top like this. There shouldn't be glass hanging over or there shouldn't be a big gap over the top. It's a little hard to see on this video because it's clear, uh, but that fit pretty nice. And now this is the hardest piece. Cutting this inside curve is the hardest thing you're going to cut. Uh, this piece is simple. This one isn't too hard either just because you got an outside curve that's a little bit better. So we're going to make those match up. And I'll, in another video, I'll show you how to do that. Here's a piece of glass that I need to grind down to that line. Now, this helps a lot. I'd recommend anytime you're doing a straight line, I would take a piece of tape and lay it on your glass right on that line. And then all you're doing is grinding the glass down to the tape. So I put the tape on there and I'm gonna grind that down. So once again, I'll turn my grinder on. And you can see right here, when I do a straight line, you're gonna sweep it along here. So don't just hit one spot. If you hit one spot, you're just gonna get a dent in that one spot. There's a dent there now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is always move it like this. I'm gonna sweep it along this line. It's gonna take a while, 